Sakura and Katori protect the spring. Chapter 1 The Coming of Spring and a Mysterious Encounter Spring was about to arrive in the city of colors. The cold of winter eases and every corner of the city begins to be enveloped in warm light. In this city, strange things always happen at the turn of the seasons. Today, too, the people of the city were excited to see something special happen. Sakura-chan, as the spirit of spring, had the important role of making the city's cherry blossoms bloom. She ran around the city as lightly as a petal, gently touching the trees, and all the pink flowers began to bloom at once. The people of the city gasped at the beauty of the blossoms, and the children cheered and frolicked. At that moment, a vibrant song could be heard coming from the sky. When I looked up, I saw a little bird spirit, Katori, flying in the sky. Her song heralded the arrival of spring and brightened the hearts of the people. Sakura and Katori were old friends, and they were delighted to see each other. Sakura-chan, spring has come. Katori tripped as she descended. Yes, Katori, it's our season. It's our season. Sakura replied happily. The two flew around town together, sharing the joy of spring. But at that moment, they were still unaware that something strange was happening. In a corner of the city, a mysterious shadow was quietly creeping in as a threat to the peace of the city. Chapter 2 The Mystery of Shadows and the Crisis of Spring Sakura and Katori were filling the city of colors with the joy of spring. However, in a corner of the city, a sinister shadow had begun to move quietly. The shadow was a presence that deprived the city of color and blocked the light of spring. One morning, when Sakura-chan touched the cherry tree as usual, she noticed that it was not blooming. Surprise, she asked Katori-chan for help. Katori-chan, the cherry tree is not blooming. Something is wrong. Katori-chan looked around from the sky and searched for the cause of the anomaly. She seen spotted a dark shadow moving in the corner of the city. Sakura-chan, there's something over there. Look, fearfully, the two headed toward the shadow. As they got closer, the shadow changed its shape and became a monster. The monster seemed to have the power to absorb the colors of the city and steal its spring. We have to do something. Sakura was determined. Yes, let's do it together. Katori replied strongly. The two of them decided to confront the monster. Sakura-chan tried to make beautiful cherry blossoms bloom, and Katori-chan tried to calm the monster with her singing voice. However, the monster proved to be powerful and not easily defeated. The people of the town began to notice the unusual situation, and anxiety spread. Sakura and Katori had to find a solution to save the city. Chapter 3 Secret Power and the Flower of Bonding Sakura and Katori were desperately searching for a way to save the city of colors from darkness. They remembered a legend they had heard from an old man in the town. The legend said that there was a secret power hidden in the legend that protected the city. Sakura-chan, do you think the secret power the old man was talking about really exists? Katori asked. I don't know, but it's worth looking for. Sakura renewed her determination. They began to search through the old records of the city and finally found a clue to the secret power. It was a flower called the Bond Flower which appears when the spirit's bond is strongest. This flower was said to have the power to bring back the light of spring to the city. Sakura-chan and Katori joined forces to make the bond flower bloom. Sakura-chan spread the petals of the cherry blossoms and Katori-chan spread her beautiful singing voice throughout the city. The people of the city cheered their efforts and began to raise their voices of hope. Soon, a beautiful flower began to bloom in the center of the city. It was a bonding flower with colorful petals. As the flower bloomed, 
Its light spread throughout the city, sweeping away the monster darkness. We did it. Katori, the bond flower, saved the city. Sakura-chan exploded with joy. Sakura-chan, our bond saved the city. Katori responded with a smile. The bonding flowers heralded the arrival of spring and proved the strong friendship between Sakura and Katori. The city of colors was once again enveloped in the light of spring, and people returned to their peaceful days. Chapter for Preparations for the Festivities and New Challenges The city of colors was once again bathed in the light of spring, and there was a sense of relief among the people. Thanks to Sakura and Katori's courageous actions, the city decided to hold a festival to celebrate them. Katori-chan, how nice of you to hold a festival for us. Sakura was excited. I never thought that our bond could make so many people happy. Katori replied happily, as preparations for the festival got underway. Sakura and Katori joined the children of the town in helping with decorations and decorations. Garlands made of cherry petals and small, bird-shaped decorations were displayed throughout the town. However, on the eve of the festival, Sakura-chan suddenly found a mysterious light near an old well on the outskirts of town. She decided to take Katori with her to explore the light. Near the well, they found a glowing crystal ball. The crystal ball was left behind by a spirit from long ago, and was said to have the power to reflect the future of the city. When Sakura and Katori touched the crystal ball, an image appeared showing a new threat to the city's future. This is, we have to protect the city again. Sakura-chan renewed her determination. Yes, let's work together. Katori responded strongly. The two girls were faced with a new challenge. Apart from the fun of the festival, but with courage, the girls began to prepare themselves to once again protect the city. Chapter 5 A Promise for the Future and the End of Spring The day of the festival had arrived. The city of colors was filled with gratitude for Sakura and Katori and the joy of spring. The town was decorated with gorgeous decorations, and bright music and laughter filled the air. However, the threat of the future, reflected in the crystal ball, flickered in the minds of Sakura-chan and Katori-chan. As they watched people enjoying the festival, they wondered what they should do to protect the city. Katori, that image we saw, that must be a warning. Sakura said seriously, Yes, but you know what, Sakura, with us around, you'll be fine. Katori encouraged her. At the height of the festival, Sakura and Katori stood in the center of the town and began to speak to everyone. They spoke about the images in the crystal ball and asked for everyone's help in protecting the city's future. Together we will protect this beautiful city. Sakura's words were met with loud applause and cheers from the people of the city. That night, the sky was filled with colorful lights, as beautiful fireworks were set off throughout the city. Sakura and Katori celebrated the last night of spring, with a renewed determination to protect the city's future. As spring came to an end, Sakura-chan said goodbye to the city and went to sleep until next spring. Katori saw her off and headed off on her next adventure. The two promised to say goodbye until the next spring, and they both carried the hope of a new future in their hearts.